Hi guys, as you might see behind me, the tiles, I did actually film me putting them on, but it wasn't until after I did it and looked back at the footage, I realised that I filmed mostly my shoulder through most of it. I'll try and include as much of that footage as I can, but the only difference to doing it in a house that I did was use grip fill, but I applied them in exactly the same way, the same technique you'd use in a house but with grip fill. The only thing, it was a bit of an experiment, I'm just hoping that the grip fill will hold them better than wall tile adhesive because of the movement and vibration in the van. I've got a feeling that the grip fill will hold it much better. That's my theory anyway. Um, the only thing I did note about using the grip fill, it was a lot harder to spread and work with than tile adhesive. But other than that, it seems to work well and they're stuck on really well. It, uh, it's worked quite well. Right, hope you can all see, see that corner quite well. I've got a trowel that's for putting adhesives on. So there you see all the serrated edges. Just your bog standard grip fill. This is from Screwfix. And I'll be using it all in exactly the same way as you would if you're tiling with normal adhesive. We've got some tile spacers as well. These ones, two mil spacers. You have your sealant gun. of spreading it on. And using the teeth on the trowel to gauge the depth of the adhesive. I'm doing these tiles in a random mixed pattern. So I got three different colors. I'm just gonna alternate them and mix and match. These were leftover tiles from my kitchen. You just gotta put your spacer in between, bunch them up. Gently push them in. Try and level them up, square them up. And what I'm about to do now is do the grating and hopefully 
I will film me doing some of this without filming my shoulder. So I'll set the camera up now and uh, continue with this. Okay, <clears throat> so got a mixing pot and some tile adhesive. Uh, not diesel, sorry, great. Pour some of the grout in. This is just normal pool tile grout. Add a little bit of water, not too much. You want it to almost be like a, um, like a toothpaste sort of consistency. I'll come back after I've mixed this up properly. Okay, so I've mixed that up, and the only other tool I'm using is a it's like a rubber squeegee. It's got a rubber edge on it and it's just a case of covering the tiles and spreading it in and working it into the gaps just like this don't worry about making the the tiles a mess because we'll sponge over it once it's dried a little bit just move this board back so you can get right down just really work it in. Putting grout on tiles, it really finishes them off. You really get that nice effect. You could use a coloured grout if you wanted. You can get it in different colours. You can get blacks and greys, not just whites. These tiles were ones that were left over from my kitchen. glad I kept them really because I did the kitchen a couple of years ago and these have just been knocking around in the shed and there was just enough so looking pretty good all right now I'll get a sponge and I'll come back and show you how to do that bit okay I'm back now and uh, it's ready to sponge this grout off all I'm using if you can see I've got some just fresh water and this is just an old washing up sponge you could use a car sponge or but this is perfect for this because it's it's not a lot of tiles so you just want to wet your sponge I don't want too much too wet because I don't want I don't want to soak everything it's just a case of slowly washing all the excess off the tiles. Just go over the joints, it doesn't hurt them. And just work away along and then I'll come back and go over it again and again until it's clean. Just do some circular motions over the joints. Keep rinsing your sponge out. So part way through you might have to change your water, a bit of fresh water. So don't worry too much about the joints keep going over them, circular motions a 
I'll go and change my water and then I'll be back. That's it, got some fresh water. Once you've got the worst of it off, you're better off leaving it, leaving it to cure for a bit, and then come back in and give the tiles a final clean. And that's it. Tiles grated. And that's how I've put tiles in my camper using grip fill. Thanks for watching. If you like, please subscribe. It'll help me out loads. Thanks. Bye.